So while we were up here, I figured we might as well do a video on caulking the Raven R29 in a tree stand for the first time. So I have my handle, I'm gonna get the, get it on here. I guess I'm gonna set this on that, on that. Release my tension, come back a little bit. Release my sled, snap that on. Let go of my button. Now keep in mind, you don't wanna let go of that handle while you're doing this. Don't set the handle down. There is a link in the description below if you want to look at this Raven on Amazon. Okay, it is all cocked and ready for an arrow. And that is certainly much easier than standing up with a foot stirrup and a, a rope caulking sled or just a rope caulker. Now when I put this back in here, I don't really don't want to reach in those limbs. I know that is a safe zone, but I just feel weird. I, I guess I will reach in there. Okay, so uh, the raven is cocked. Let's put an arrow in there. We're going to keep this pointed in a safe direction the whole time. Make sure our tip is tight. Make sure our white vein is down. Um, I knocked tuned this arrow, so I'm not going to put the white, white vein down. I'm putting an orange vein down. And I'm grabbing this about here. Don't grab it over the top of the point. Okay, so it's all loaded up. If you're gonna caulk this thing in the tree stand, just take your time and you'll be fine. Yeah. Another thing that I'm gonna do for safety, whenever I go to put my caulking handle away, I'm gonna keep the crossbow like this. I'm not gonna turn it sideways like this because if anything happened right now, that limb and any broken pieces would be coming right towards me. So I'm gonna keep it facing like this. I'm gonna reach up in here. It's up to you if you wanna reach through there or not. Raven kind of calls out a, a safe zone. I don't even know if they want you to reach in there. But anyway, I'm going to reach in here. And I'm going to look through the hole where this stud goes to get it lined up. So now that's in there without me having to have that limb facing towards my face. Whenever you're turning off the safety on your crossbow, try to use your trigger hand. That way your hands are not near the trigger while you're turning off the safety. I'm having a hard time even with the rest. Yeah. Ha <laughs>